and welcome to Do-It-Yourself Breastfeeding. I'm Robin Kaplan. I'm an International Board Certified Lactation Consultant, owner of the San Diego Breastfeeding Center, as well as the host of the Boob Group Podcast. And today we are talking about nipple shields. So how to use a nipple shield effectively, as well as um, considering ways to wean off of it. So this little nipple shield right here can be used for many different reasons. From the baby's perspective, it can be used for latching challenges. So for a baby who's having a difficult time latching, possibly due to a very long labor or to a tongue tie or lip tie that needs to be revised, um, this is a way that you can get the baby onto the breast. Another reason that a baby might have a challenging time latching would be that if a baby is born early, so our babies that are born 38 weeks, 37 weeks, 36 weeks or below, those babies sometimes have a difficult time coordinating their suck, swallow and breathing. So this helps keep the breast in their mouth so that way they can suck and hopefully get the milk out. From the mom's perspective, it can be used for a couple different reasons as well. One would be if the mom has some pretty significant nipple damage and wants to latch her baby on, but it hurts too much. And so this provides a barrier over the nipple so that way while the baby is feeding, the baby is able to feed from the breast but is not re-damaging the area that needs to start healing. Um, secondly, if a mom has an inverted nipple, sometimes this can be helpful as well. Now granted, babies don't necessarily need a nipple to latch on, they just need a nice wide latch onto a breast, but some babies really need that stimulation at the top of the roof of their mouth, and so the nipple shield can help with that as well. Now the two key things that you need to know about nipple shields is one, how to put it on effectively, and one that it's recommended that you have an exit strategy. So the reasons are, is that sometimes using a nipple shield, the baby might not be able to effectively take out the milk the way that he or she needs to, which could decrease a mom's milk supply. Also, these things can get lost very easily. Cats love to play with them, as well as they can be a little bit of a challenge to use while nursing in public. So the idea is to use them temporarily and wean off of them as soon as possible. But let's talk about how to put them on. So when latching on a baby with a nipple shield, the first thing you wanna do is invert the nipple shield to get more of the nipple into the shield. So Shannon's gonna do that for us. Center your nipple on there. And as you'll see, there's actually a space in between her nipple and the tip of the nipple shield. And we really need to have that because when the nipple starts to swell while the baby's feeding, we don't wanna pull the nipple through the shield because that can actually be very painful. So when the baby latches on, Come on, baby, you can do it. Bless you. The baby needs to open, up, open nice and widely. Yeah. And get on there as deeply as she would if we weren't using this shield. So we don't want to see any of that cone coming in and out of the baby's mouth. But instead, we need those lips directly up against mom. So the upper lip flange, the lower lip flange, and you can see... Josie's trying to get used to it, and then she'll kind of settle in. You got her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And lots of times it can be helpful to express a little bit of milk as the baby's trying to get going too, just because initially when they're sucking okay. on the silicone, yeah. they're not getting that immediate gratification. And as you can see now, baby's upper lips are flanged, the lower jaw is down, no tunnel coming in and out, but she's right up against the breast. And now you should start hearing swallowing and gulping because she's able to transfer the milk through the nipple shield. So that's how you use a nipple shield effectively. If you would like to watch any more of our videos, you can check out our YouTube channel, which is DIY Breastfeeding, as well as our two websites, which are newmommymedia.com and San Diego Breastfeeding Center.com. Thanks.